Welcome. It took so long for me to be able to make this video, okay? So many things happened to try to discourage me from taking this video from equipment breaking. I had a whole little set that I put in a different part of my apartment to excessive noise everywhere to just uh, a lot of other things that I had no control over. So I was like, you know what? I'm just about to do it. Okay, so I'm Vicky and I am focusing my whole, every social media, everything that I do is going to be focused on breaking down astrology into its simplest terms for anybody to learn, anybody to understand. And that's what I'm here for and that's what I'm going to do. Today we're going to ask her the question, what is astrology? Okay, so what is astrology? Astrology is often described in many different ways depending on who is explaining it. It's simply a field like any other ology. Astrology is the study of celestial bodies and connecting them with life on Earth. And celestial bodies is just a fancy phrase to describe planets, stars, and moons. So our birth, day, time, and place creates our birth chart. And our birth chart is just a snapshot of the sky when you and I were born. And all of us have different birth charts with different degrees and placements. Okay, so I created a fictional person to give an example. Um, her name is April. And April was born on April 11, 2021 at 424 p.m. in Newark, New Jersey. Okay, so we can all Google our birth chart with this type of information. And you can just go to Google, type in birth chart, and you'll get a list of sites that provide Western charts and just enter your birth information. So I entered April's birth information, and this is what it told me. When she was born, the sun was in Aries. So that means that she's an Aries sun. And that's typically the sign that people give you when you ask them their sign. They give you their sun sign, which means the sun was in the constellation of Aries. But when we go further in, you see not only where the sun was, but you see what, what constellation the moon was in, what constellation Mercury was in, Venus, and so on. And all those, the planets, the constellations that they were in, those are her signs too. Her sun sign may be Aries, but her rising sign is Virgo. And the rising sign is the constellation that her birth chart starts at. Now, um, I'm not going to go too deep into rising because that's a little co bit complex, but I will say that the rising, it represents um, who she appears to be. That's why when people guess your sign, sometimes they may guess, always guess another sign and you're like confused about why they guess that is because you present yourself as a sign that is your rising sign. Now, it is possible for someone to have the same sun sign and rising sign, but it's not the case for Air for April. She's an Aries sun and a Virgo rising. I'm a Virgo rising too. All right. So, and just like how r the rising sign has a meaning, the planets, they also have special meanings. And the signs that they're in have special meanings. Like the sun represents your ego. The moon represents your inner emotions. The planet Mercury represents how you communicate and how you think, which is why so many people find Mercury retrograde to be so important. The planet Venus represents how you love and what you find to be pleasing. The planet Mars represents how you assert yourself and how you take action. Now, all of these planets, and I didn't go into all of them, you all know it's more, but the planets, okay, this is what they represent. Now, the constellation they were in when you were born shows how they are represented in your life. Now, if you have a Mars and Aries, you might be a very aggressive person or assertive, you know. And it's just like every planet was in a sign when you were born. 
everything in our birth chart is important. And I know a lot of people may be confused by what I'm saying, but I will be explaining this in more videos and helping people to understand because I've realized that when I talk to people about astrology, they look at me sometimes like I'm speaking Mandarin. But no, I'm speaking astrology and I'm learning that language very well and I would like to help you learn too. So next up, I will be, exp well, I will be explaining each part of the birth chart. But the next video will be focusing on the sun, aka the ego. I hope to see you there.